So in this problem, we're asked to write the summation below, and it, it shows us this summation right here. Write that series using sigma notation. This is not the same as previous problems where they ask us to solve a summation. They don't actually want to know what the summation equals. They want to know how to write it using sigma notation. And the big thing about sigma notation is it has the sigma symbol in it. Okay, it's a dead giveaway that you're doing some kind of a sum. So what we're going to do here is try to write this in terms of all the different parts of summation uh, notation that we talked about in class. And if you remember, um, it's number one on the bottom, and something goes up here, that's how many terms you're adding up. So if you're adding up 20 terms, the number 20 would go on top there. And what goes over here is a n. Okay, we need the explicit formula. So what this is really asking us for, this problem right here, is one, do we know what a summation symbol is? But what, what it's also getting at is, do you know what the explicit formula is for this series? Um, and do we know how many terms there are in it? So let's go about figuring that out. Um, I need to use the explicit formula to figure out the explicit formula. And here it is. You should know this by now. A n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And I don't know how many terms there are, right? We don't know n, but we know what the a nth term is. That is this number right here, negative 733. And I know the first term. That's negative 11. Okay, so we keep on writing and we get to d. Well, do we know d? Uh, it's not given to us, but it's shown to us. We can figure it out right here. What's the size of the jump going from negative 11 to negative 30? See, these, these are terms that are getting more and more negative. Um, remember what a series is. It's a1 plus a2 plus a3. When they show minuses like this, that's like minus 11 plus minus 30 plus minus 49 and so on. So you can see these terms are getting more negative. I think this looks like uh, d of negative 19, right? If I want to go from negative 11 to negative 30, I'm going down by 19. So that is a negative difference. So now we're going to solve this equation right here. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm going to add, let's add 11 to both sides. Uh, that's going to get me to negative 722 equals n minus 1 times negative 19. Okay, I'm just stalling because I know I'm going to know idea how to do that 700 thing. Calculator time. Let's see. Uh, negative 722 divided by negative 19 gives me 38 equals n minus 1. Okay, that means 39 equals n. Great. So I just found one of the things I'm looking for. And if, you, if you're paying attention, um, I didn't really start out knowing exactly where I was going with this. I just went to the explicit formula and I said, oh, we'll probably get something useful from this. So I found that, okay, we know n equals 1. But now I know that n uh, equals 39. In other words, there's 39 terms in this series here. What I would like to figure out is the explicit formula. And, oh, it looks like uh, that was actually not too hard. We could have done that earlier. Um, remember the explicit formula here, a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So if you already did this part, great, good for you. Um, all we need to know is the first term, negative 11, plus n minus 1 times the difference, which is, we talked about that already, negative 19. So what you can do is you can take this whole thing and plug it up here. You don't need to simplify it. If you want to, it would be, looks like negative 19n uh, plus 8, I think, ish. That looks like the right answer. Uh, but it, we've, we've put everything in here that we need to. We have the number of terms, and we have the explicit formula. And now that means we have everything required for summation notation.